How you doing guys? This is Kevin. We're back with another video. We just got back from vacation. We spent six nights in the camper. Now we know what we need and what we don't need in this camper. And boy, do we got some changes to make. You guys all said I needed an air conditioner. Guess what? I'm getting an air conditioner. Man, was it hot and miserable. The first couple days we was there, it was crazy hot. So we're definitely ordering us an air conditioner. Um, so that's something we got to get online and we got to find one. We got to get a decent price on it. It's going to be a pain in the butt. I've been looking and they're hard to find a decent price on an air conditioner. I thought I'd put one in the back wall, but we've done a little bit of changing. Uh, we're going to put some cabinets on that back wall now. Uh, we need more space, uh, storage space. So we're going to be putting some cabinets up there. I'm going to get an air conditioner unit for on the roof and I'm um, hoping to get one I can uh, heat in cool that's what i'm thinking about like a heat pump type one so today i'll go over some of the things we're going to be changing on the camper um and show you guys what we're going to be doing uh, some of the do's and don'ts i didn't like some things i didn't like about the camper and some things i liked about the camper so let's get to it and we'll show you what we're going to do and we're going to get ready to build some cabinets here in a little bit I don't know if you guys remember, but when we was out there, we didn't have our levelers on. We got our levelers on now. We got a little leveler back here, and we got one over on the side. Uh, <laughs> you know I was surprised. I didn't put them on there, but we got two levelers on there now, and both of them are setting up pretty good. Everything about the camper seemed to work pretty good. Now, the steps were great. The steps worked out better than... Uh, I couldn't believe how nice the steps were, and they really worked out well. Um... <clears throat> let's go inside here now i noticed uh some of the things let's see here let's get some lights on um get these lights on so we can see a little better and i think i told you guys in my last video we changed that light and we changed that light up there we got that led light in there now i'm looking at my little uh, this is my little panel right here, and I see my gauge is not working. Now, I just bought this. You guys know it was brand new. You know when I installed it, put it in here. I got six nights in here. Now the little gauge is not working. So we're going to get a hold of them. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I got it from, but I got the paperwork on all the stuff in here. We're going to have to see if we can get this guy fixed. Now, some of the things here... Let's see. We mounted this guy in here while we was on our camping trip. This is really nice because it gives us a place to put some stuff. Just to store some stuff in here and we don't have to put it away. So this worked out good. Now this is just Velcroed right onto my table. See we got it just Velcroed on there. So we don't have to move it. But I cut the lip from underneath of it off. So the Velcro would be flat on the floor. And then I took a knife and cut the back of it so it would go back up against the uh, back up against the backsplash a little bit better. That thing worked out great. I like it. Our little silverware thing worked out really nice. Our cups. We got some cups here. Got them sitting on the counter. They want to flop around. You either throw them in the sink or you put them away. So what I did is I bought some hooks and we're just going to be hooking them up to the ceiling and uh that'll work out great get the cups up off the counter give us more counter space uh so we got some hooks to put in there um let's see here these tables spay they're definitely a pain in the butt so uh they're nice when you want to sit down and you want to eat something but when it's time for bed they are a pain now uh the tables do go down they fold down you have to lift the mattress up and you fold them down and they're okay once they're down but you still doesn't leave you any place in here to put anything so like if you want to set a cup up on there a drink or something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this this uh, table up to the bottom of the fan almost to the bottom of the fan that'll give me room that I won't even have to pick it up at nighttime. It'll you'll be able to lay underneath of it. But as it is right now, it's too close to the mattress for the table to be there. So you're hitting your legs on it, you're bumping in it. So this one I always put down. And Julie's side, this table here, we're gonna take it completely out. She wants it all the way out of there. 
uh, we don't want to put it up and down. What she wants is a little shelf in the same angle as our, our uh, cabinet there. She wants it back in here. She wants a little uh, shelf back in there at an angle. And it'll be stationary. It won't be taken down or up. Now, she got uh, a little basket here, which is really nice. And I just used some little... Uh, these are little uh, clips for, um, what am I trying to think, coax wire. And I put three across the top and two on the sides. And that little basket has come in really, really handy. You could put your drink in there. You can put your telephone in there or whatever. And we might get another one of them for the other side. Uh, that worked out really well for her, anyhow. So, let's see. We're going to be changing this out. Taking this out, putting the corner shelf in. We're going to be moving this one up higher. Um, and on the back wall, we're going to put a, a row of cabinets right across that back wall. we got to put some cabinets in there. So that's uh, a main thing for us. We're going to put some cabinets on that back wall for sure. So we're going to be working on that in the next day or so. We're going to get them cabinets put in there. We'll get them painted up and get everything looking good. Um, let's see. Let me think of some of the other things and I'll get you guys back in here. All right, I just thought of something else. <clears throat> now, when we flipped the mattress over and made the big part on the bottom and the small part up there to make it look more like a couch and maybe that back thing, that, that cushion was up the back wall too high. So we changed it around. That left my bed sticking out a little bit further. Now the two compartments that we had up underneath there, one on that side, one on that side, you're not going to get to them unless you crawl. So that's as about as far back in as you can get your bed. So what we thought we'd do is we're going to take out part of these panels, part of that wall in the front there, so we can slide stuff way back in there underneath that bed. Because that's a lot of space that's not being used. So we want to be able to uh, uh, take an advantage of all the space that we can. So those two walls we have right there are either going to come completely out or we're going to do something there to eliminate them so we can get in there and store more stuff underneath that bed. I might even do a couple baskets like I did underneath the back to where you can just slide a whole basket out. And uh, I think that would work a little bit better. But... Uh, Right now, that's basically wasted space under the bed. And we don't have enough room to waste any space in this camper. Now, the uh, bathroom, the shower, worked out great. As you can see, there's no cracks in the shower floor. It's working great. The potty worked out real good. Uh, the shower head, I actually extended onto the wire and put the button right on the... On the uh, the button is now right on the handle. So if you need water, you just push the little button, turn it on and off, which worked out really good for taking a shower. Now, most of the showers, I don't really shower in here. Nothing like Julie would. I have showered in here, but I don't shower in here like Julie does. So I, I don't mind using the, uh, the showers at the campgrounds. So that's some of the things that we're going to be changing in here. In the next few days hopefully now we put some of these command strips up for garbage can as you can see one came off the wall over here so I'm gonna go in town and buy me some nice coat hooks and I'm gonna screw them right to the wall because these are definitely those little hooks they come in handy so Julie's got a little bit of touching up with the paint but uh, everything else worked really good in here uh, the sink worked out real nice. I mean, it was everything had worked out really nice. Besides the few little things I told you about that we're going to be changing. Other than that, everything worked out good. Very comfortable bed. If you guys get the chance to uh, build a bed like that, I'm telling you, that thing, you can sleep like a baby on that bed. It's a really nice bed. Worked out real good. Now, yes, yesterday while I was putting these guys here on, I realized that the corner of these aluminum fenders had some really sharp edges actually I cut my leg on this uh, the other day so I took a foul and fouled these down on all the fenders 
just that edge right there it seemed like where they pressed it out had a real sharp edge actually there's still a little bit of a sharp edge on that one there but uh we did file them all down and up underneath here you could see how they just bent the corner here they just bend it and it had a real sharp edge right here on it i took a foul to it too um i cut myself every time i put the jacks under here i cut myself on those so we got them taken care of and uh we did order another sign it's in for the front another decal and we're thinking about maybe doing some decals on the side of the camper itself oh uh, i got a decal that's going to go up there so that's our it's the, it's in i just got to go pick it up it's done um the antenna worked out really really well but i'm telling you guys if i have any problem with this antenna i'm going to post it online uh for everybody to see i hope i don't have any problem with that antenna uh, that's my second one of the antennas everything else seemed like i said it looks it's been uh, working out really well just a few little bugs to work out once we get our bugs worked out we're going for another trip for sure we'll do a few of them this year all right we got some work to do all right i got my little table moved up and uh we got some little holes here to patch there's nothing wrong with that we'll get them patched up but um now when i put the table down it's just above the mattress this is not going to give me any trouble bef before i had to pull the mattress out and put it down which now with it that close i can put it down and then pull my bed out it should just ride right right there on my bed and we can still use the table to put stuff you hate to eliminate this table because it does help a lot uh, especially if you want to eat something or something and you can't get outside in the terrain and you got a little bit of a table to work off of so i'm going to go ahead and get to patching these little holes in the wall and um we'll get on the rest of the stuff we need to do here probably going to go ahead and get julie's little table moved completely out that'll be a quick and easy project we're going to move that one completely out and get ready to we're going to be working on that corner shelf that she wants and then the bark back cabinets all right guys we got all the bedding out of here and i'm started on my cabinet i'm gonna put the cabinet up here it's gonna be 12 inches out and uh 14 inches down so we won't hit our head on it so i'm just now uh stripping up some wood i got a couple notches up there where i want the cabinet to go and we're going to get it set in here what i'm kind of doing is i'm building this thing i'm going to build it in um i'm going to actually build it in there because i don't want to scratch the walls up so we're just getting our wood prepared in the garage here and getting it ready so we can get it put in there but we're just going to put it up little by little because we don't want to scratch up the the whole inside of the uh camper so we're just working on a couple pieces i'll take you guys as i go uh, probably not going to show you the full process but we'll show you little pieces of it I'll tell you what, if you guys don't have a crate jig and you're going to be building anything like uh, this, this thing really is pretty nice because it makes your cabinets good and sturdy. So if you don't have one and you're going to be building a camper or you're going to be building cabinets, this is definitely a good uh, tool to have. Makes them strong. Makes your cabinets good and strong. All right, as you can see, we got this piece. We built this piece in the garage, uh, and we put a couple braces on the back of this so it would screw up into the ceiling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and screw this piece up to the top piece, and then uh, we'll start working on the inside little by little. Uh, we'll get it set up. The reason why I wanted to do this piece first is because what I'll do is I'll cut my lube on, to fit the outside of this and then we'll set it up there and we'll trace it from behind that way we ain't got to sit there and measure each little piece so what i'm going to do now is just go ahead and get this guy mounted into place we should have two pretty decently big doors in here and you know what i wanted to answer a question somebody asked me why i made the doors so small on the other cabinets the reason why i made the doors so small is because 
the more stuff you put in there, the more pressure that could be against the door. So we wanted to keep all the pressure we could off of the doors. So a smaller door makes more sense because then you can stick stuff around the sides. But it doesn't make sense because you can't get real big stuff in there. But that's why we're building the back ones here. We're going to be, we'll be able to put our big skillets and stuff in the back. And plus, I need some more weight in the back of the trailer to kind of balance out the front because we're holding all the water storage in the front and the batteries in the front. So we got a lot of weight up there. We're trying to balance it out by putting some in the back. So we're going to go ahead and get this mounted in, and then uh, we'll get you guys back in here and show you how we do the rest here. All right, now we're building these, uh, uh, I think, a lot lighter than what the other cabinets were. You can see I got my little back strip on there. We're going to put Luan on the top and the bottom. So inside you'll have Luan on the top, and then when you look underneath you'll have Luan on the bottom. Now we're just going to put a couple braces around the sides. And then we're going to go ahead and get it pieced together here. Start putting our little wand and stuff in. It's uh, going to be a nice little cabinet. It's going to give us a lot more storage too. Okay, all we did was we cut our piece of little wand for the front of our cabinet. And then uh, pushed that piece of wood up and I had the bottom cut. I just flipped it up and traced the holes. That saves me for having to go around and measure each little piece. I know I'm right with this because that was just traced out. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys cut out of here and then uh, we're gonna get this face put back on. What I've done now is we just put some liquid nail and Julie put a row of caulks, put some caulk up in the top there. So we're just going to push this thing up and get it nailed into place. And then uh, she can wipe that caulk off. But we got lots of glue on there, liquid nail. This thing should be here for a long time. So we're just going to stick this thing right back up in that crack there. And up in this one. Line it where we want it. And then we're going to throw some nails in this guy. All right, we got Julie's little corner cabinet in there, corner shelf. I think it looks pretty good. We got some screws in the wall, and we liquid nailed it to the wall too. So this should be a good sturdy little shelf. All we got to do now is throw some liquid nail on the top and get it glued on. Then we'll cut us a board for across the front, and that'll look pretty nice. Nice little setup. Now we got this thing up here all done now. We got our cabinet doors in there. Uh, we got them setting up. Well, actually, I got one wrong set of hinges, so we got to go back and get another set of hinges. But this is going to make a lot different. See, now before Julie's cabinet was down to about right here, the shelf was about here. So now it's up a lot higher, which is going to give her a lot more room for her feet, her legs up underneath there, and she can still stick stuff back in that little cubby there. It's coming along. Well, this video is getting just a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it off here and I'll have a second part to this. So we're up to like um, almost 19 minutes. We're probably going to be about 20 some minutes by the time we get done. And I have a second part to this, so uh, the cabinets and the shelving. Um, of course, there's a lot of other little miscellaneous that we're doing. It's basically a bunch of work that I need to get done to the camper before we get uh, going on another trip. And like I said, each time we come back, we're going to have different things that we want to do. Hopefully not so big of things. It's not so bad doing little things. It's these big things that take a lot of time and a lot of money to finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. And if you want them alerts, click the little bell down there so you can get them alerts. And don't forget, I'll have a second part to this too. Thanks for watching.